Deep within the heart of South Africa, a remarkable mystery has captivated scientists, miners, and curious minds alike. Imagine, for a moment, delving deep beneath the Earth's surface into ancient layers of rock that predate most life as we know it. It was here, in the early 1980s, that miners unearthed hundreds of perfectly round metallic spheres embedded within the rock formations of the Wonderstone Mine, located near Klerksdorp. These spheres, now famously known as the Klerksdorp spheres, offer a perplexing glimpse into Earth's distant past, a past that raises more questions than answers. The rocks that cradle these enigmatic spheres are ancient, dating back an astonishing three billion years to the Precambrian era. At that point in Earth's history, the planet was a very different place. The atmosphere lacked oxygen, the oceans were turbulent, and life was limited to the most basic single-celled organisms. Complex life, plants, animals, and certainly humans had not yet appeared. Yet, embedded within these primordial rocks are hundreds of metallic spheres that challenge our understanding of what was possible during that time. The Klerksdorp spheres vary in size, with some as small as a marble and others reaching several centimeters in diameter. Each sphere exhibits a near-perfect roundness that seems almost uncanny given their context. What truly sets them apart, however, are the precise parallel grooves etched around their circumference. These grooves are so flawlessly rendered that they evoke the image of a machine-made artifact, raising eyebrows among those who have examined them closely. Some of the spheres are solid, while others are hollow, resonating with a bell-like ring when struck gently. The hollow spheres sometimes contain a spongy material that adds another layer of intrigue to their composition. The material of the spheres themselves is primarily pyrophyllite, a soft mineral that is relatively easy to carve or shape. Yet, the grooves on the spheres are so sharp and precise that it's difficult to imagine how they could have formed naturally, especially in a mineral known for its softness. When miners first discovered these objects, the immediate question was whether they represented some sort of ancient artifact, perhaps evidence of an advanced civilization that predates all known history. After all, the spheres seemed out of place, both in time and in geological context. Many wondered, how could such perfectly manufactured objects exist billions of years before humans evolved? Could they be remnants of a lost technology or even evidence of extraterrestrial intervention? As word of the discovery spread, scientists, geologists, and even UFO enthusiasts flocked to examine the spheres. The debate quickly polarized into two camps. On one side, mainstream geologists argued that the spheres must have formed through purely natural processes. They pointed out that pyrophyllite deposits are known to produce nodular structures under certain conditions and that the grooves could be the result of natural concentric banding or weathering. According to this view, the spheres are simply remarkable geological formations, shaped by the slow and steady hand of nature over unfathomable stretches of time. But on the other side, skeptics remained unconvinced. The spheres' perfection, their intricate grooves, and their metallic composition all seem too precise to be the product of blind geological chance. The fact that the spheres ring when struck and that some are hollow with spongy interiors only deepened the mystery. If they were simply mineral nodules, why would they exhibit such unusual features? And why do they appear in such large numbers, all clustered within a single geological formation? To unravel the mystery, researchers conducted a series of scientific analyses. They examined the spheres under microscopes performed elemental tests, and mapped their distribution within the mine. The results yielded fascinating insights, but little in the way of definitive answers. Most spheres were found to be composed of a mixture of hematite and pyrite, minerals commonly associated with pyrophyllite. Their surfaces showed evidence of weathering, but the grooves remained remarkably sharp, as if carved deliberately. Some scientists proposed that the spheres might have formed from concretions, a process in which minerals slowly accumulate around a central core, creating a spherical shape. In rare cases, these concretions can develop grooves or banding due to variations in mineral composition or environmental conditions. However, the sheer regularity and precision of the Klerksdorp sphere's grooves seem to defy this explanation. As the debate raged on, the spheres became a focal point for speculation about Earth's ancient history. 
Some theorists suggested that they might be out-of-place artifacts, objects that challenge the conventional timeline of human progress. Others speculated about lost civilizations, time travelers, or visitors from other worlds. The sphere's association with the Precambrian era, long before the rise of complex life, only fueled these theories. Mainstream science, however, remains skeptical of such extraordinary claims. The consensus among most geologists is that the Klerksdorp spheres are natural formations, albeit incredibly rare and striking ones. They point to similar nodular structures found in other parts of the world, such as the Moki marbles of Utah or the iron oxide concretions of Australia. In each case, nature has demonstrated a remarkable ability to create symmetry and order from chaos. Yet, the mystery endures. Visitors to the Wonderstone Mine continue to marvel at the spheres, running their fingers along the precise grooves and pondering the ancient forces that shape them. Some spheres are displayed in museums, while others are held privately by collectors who appreciate their enigmatic beauty. In the grand tapestry of Earth's history, the Klerksdorp spheres are a reminder that our planet is full of surprises. They challenge us to look beyond the obvious, to question what we think we know, and to remain open to possibilities that lie beyond the boundaries of science. Whether natural or artificial, the spheres continue to inspire wonder and curiosity, a testament to the enduring allure of ancient mysteries. As scientists continue to study these remarkable objects, new theories may emerge, and perhaps one day we will unravel the secrets of their origin. Until then, the Klerksdorp spheres remain one of South Africa's most intriguing geological enigmas, a silent witness to a world that existed billions of years before us. For anyone seeking answers, the spheres invite us to dream, to investigate, and to embrace the unknown. They remind us that history is not always written in stone, and that sometimes the most ordinary objects can lead to the most extraordinary questions. The story of the Klerksdorp spheres is not just about ancient rocks. It is a story about human curiosity, the spirit of discovery, and the endless quest to understand our place in the universe.